this is the river they've been talking about. And we thought, that's it. We're going to have to go around. But this path here is actually quite firm. So we could just walk the bikes again along here, tractor it across the stones, across there. And do you think we can get across the river? Yeah. We've got to, haven't we? We're just careful. Yeah. But the key thing is to get one of our cars over. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to get it out of there unless unless we unless come we out of that rut we'll there. We'll use this rut right here. We'll yeah. use that rut right there. Okay. So we aim for this. Oh. Aim for this. For that. Make a mark. Okay. Aim for that. There, right? And then try and get it across here. Right out of here. Try and get it across here. And then look with this car's going here. This is all solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then just pop it straight across. Pop across. Good. That's what that soldier said. One, two, three. Reveal. Uh, I cut you. So I go first or you? No, I'll go first. Oh, I've okay. got the choice. <laughs> so you, all right, good. <laughs> good luck, yeah. Okay. Charlie, whoops. It's quite tiring when you're doing the clutch as well, you know. You feel like you have such a responsibility. We managed to walk the bikes through the mud and it actually turned out to be a lot easier than we yeah. thought. With the help of the locals and listening to locals about saying which way to go, we chose the beautiful route. Woo! Oh, One, yeah. two, three motorcycles and a dry road. I think some like 15 kilometers this way is the gravel road that we were on yesterday that we all thought was horrible and now just think is like paradise. If you get one through, then you know it's easy to get the others through. But I reckon another hour or so maybe. We can't even get one across at the moment. So I'm just taking the time. I'm doing a bit a few things that I needed to do on my bike. I'm fixing my screen with some cable ties. I was gonna do a little video diary. I might phone Ev, just to have a little relax, because there's nothing I can do there. They don't need me to do anything there. I'm just sorting my stuff out, you know? That's it, that's it, that's it. We're certainly in the landscape now that I, that I imagine being in. I'm waking up in my tent this morning and opening the tent up and the sun was just peeking above the mountain, the Rocky Mountain across the way, and my bike was sitting outside, and I thought, oh yes, this is the life. This is the life. It's all kicking off here in the river, so um, maybe I'll go and stick my camera on that. That was the donkey, not me. If you could just wait for the camera for a minute. I couldn't find zoom. We're going to put that strop round that tree, hopefully low enough to the ground that it won't just pull it out. So Jim's doing that. We've got about 30 foot of this. I reckon we should be able to do it. I'm a bit more, I didn't think we'd get it that far. Just keep the pace, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's one over, eh? Mind your fingers. It's good Dave's car through, because then we can get two winches onto that one and pull it through, no problem. It was the first time that we'd come on an obstacle that we had to overcome as a team. It was very exciting, very boys' own stuff, and it was great. Three cars. 